Ultramon is a program designed for dual monitors to make them more efficient. They give you a second taskbar on the second monitor and they give you some extra buttons and options when using Windows. Ultramon worked great on XP and Vista and many people enjoyed that program. And it works fine on 7.2 but there are some minor issues that may annoy you so I'm going to point out some of the changes that have happened with Windows 7 and Ultramon. Just for the sake of consistency I'm going to change my taskbar back to the default Windows setting that most people have theirs set to for Windows 7. Let's point out some things that you probably already know about the Windows taskbar. As you know, when you hover over these icons, you get this nice little glow that fades in over the icon, and the color corresponds with what the icon is. You also get the nice preview thumbnail that shows you what windows you have open, and it combines windows of like program. You can rearrange the icons, and they just look nice. It's got a nice the arrow feel has a nice flow to it and it just it's an overall nice user interface. So now let's take a look at the Ultramon taskbar. Now at first glance it may not look too different but there are some changes to it that may annoy you like I said before. Now to start off when you hover over the icon it just gives you this abrupt glow. It's the same type of glow you'll see on the Windows taskbar but it doesn't have that nice fade in effect and the colors are off on most of the icons. Like on Google Chrome here, it would normally be this nice bright yellow, but it's sort of this brown color. Same for the Steam icon. It may not look as pleasing to the eye if you're into the whole graphic user interface thing. And as you can see, there are no thumbnails for the Windows. If you hover over it, there is no thumbnail that pops up, and it does not show you what is running. Also, as you can see, like icons do not combined. You don't get that little tab showing you that you have multiple icons open. So we have two Google Chromes open, yet they show up right next to each other. There is also no way to reorganize these icons. You click on it and it doesn't let you reorganize. So you're kind of stuck with this odd order. If you have a, a bunch of programs pinned to your taskbar and you like them in a certain order, that won't happen on here. And you also can't pin icons to it either. When you right click you don't get the same jump list you'll get on the regular taskbar. You just get this kind of classic context menu you would see on older versions of Windows. You can set the taskbar to show up windows that are only on the specific monitor the taskbar is on or you can have it show both. I like showing it on the monitor that it's on because it, it just makes more sense. So what I do is I, I set my taskbar to, to look like this because it's it's classic and it does a better job of showing you what, what you have open in my opinion and it doesn't screw up on this monitor as much as you can see the comparison you still don't have the, the previews and the jump lists but with the separated windows it doesn't look as weird I think and it, it's just better this way in my opinion one subtle difference that may be kind of difficult to notice at first glance is when you're in this mode showing the labels and uh, making the icons not the big bulky ones like default windows 7 is the taskbars themselves are a different tint like the original taskbar turns to a darker tint when you're in this mode I think it's to show labels better, like so you can read this white text a little better. It does not do that on this one. So what you see is a lighter, more transparent taskbar on the second monitor, regardless of what the settings on your first one are. So the second one will always be a little bit lighter, and the first one will always be a little bit darker, which looks kind of annoying if you're going for like the nice look. When you're looking at your two monitors, there's like this blatant difference, especially if you have like a plain desktop background. But that may not annoy many people, so if you don't really care about that, then go for it. Another feature of Ultramon on Windows 7 is you get these nice little buttons here. These buttons have specific commands that are good for dual monitors. This one here will move it to the other monitor, and this one will maximize it to both of them. I, I don't really use that button too much. This one I find really useful. But one thing that is kind of annoying is when I go to minimize this and maximize it again, as you can see, those buttons there show up before the window makes it there. That has to do with the new animations introduced with Windows 7. So that's another kind of annoying thing about this program, but it's kind of hard to notice. And also when you're moving the window around, it tends to lag and jitter a little bit. The, the extra buttons aren't really like attached very well to the top of the window, but you have to really be looking for that to notice there's a problem. Also when you right click Windows you get this extra option here so if you don't want to show them you can always have these options in the context menu. Also there is no start button and there's no clock on the second taskbar so 
you probably don't really care about that, but that's another thing this program lacks. So it's still a good program. It just doesn't match up to the Windows 7 standards of the new interface and taskbar and stuff like that. So if you just want it for pure functionality, just so you can see what you have open on your other monitor, then go for it. Download this program. It, it works great. I, I still use it. But if you're into the whole graphical user interface and you want it to look nice, then I recommend looking into other programs, at which I will review in future videos, hopefully. So you can check those out if they're up. But yeah, that's about it for this video explaining Ultramon on Windows 7. This is uh, some guy on the internet signing out.